China has just taken another bold step in the global race for satellite-based internet with the launch of 18 more satellites for its Thousand Sails constellation. This ambitious megaproject, also called Qianfan, aims to deploy thousands of satellites into low Earth orbit, challenging SpaceX's Starlink and transforming global internet access. With 54 satellites now in orbit, this constellation is not just about connectivity. It's about redefining space technology, global competition, and how we interact with the digital world. China's Thousand Sails constellation, also known as Qianfan, represents an ambitious leap in global satellite internet technology. Spearheaded by Shanghai Spacecom Satellite Technology SSST, this project aims to create a vast low Earth orbit LEO satellite network capable of providing high-speed, low-latency internet across the globe. By 2030, the plan is to have over 14,000 satellites in orbit, making it one of the largest constellations ever envisioned. The immediate goal is to deploy 648 satellites by the end of 2025, laying the groundwork for early operational capability. This project is often compared to SpaceX's Starlink and Amazon's Project Kuiper, but it brings a distinct strategy to the table. Thousand Sails has divided its deployment into phased launches, starting with its first batch of 18 satellites in August 2024. This was followed by another 18 in October and the most recent group in December, bringing the total to 54 satellites currently in orbit. These incremental deployments enable SST to test, refine, and enhance its systems as the network expands. The Qianfan satellites are cutting edge in design with flat panel architectures that maximize efficiency in stacking and deployment. They orbit at low altitudes, reducing latency compared to traditional geostationary satellites. This low latency connectivity is critical for applications such as telemedicine, remote learning, and real-time financial transactions. The constellation also aims to provide coverage to underserved regions, offering a solution to the global digital divide. What sets this project apart is not just its technical ambition, but also the substantial financial and logistical backing it has received. With $943 million in funding secured in early 2024, Thousand Sales is well positioned to compete globally. Additionally, the project has already secured international collaborations, such as an agreement with Brazil to begin providing services in 2026. This move signals Thousand Sales' intent to establish a significant presence in international markets, especially in regions where existing satellite services face challenges. While the promise of Thousand Sales is enormous, challenges loom large. The rapidly increasing number of satellites in LEO heightens concerns about space congestion and debris. Central to the success of the Thousand Sails constellation is the Long March 6 rocket. Developed by the Shanghai Academy of Spaceflight Technology SAST, this medium lift launch vehicle boasts a unique combination of liquid fueled core stages and solid propellant side boosters. This design enhances its payload capacity and versatility, making it particularly well suited for deploying satellite constellations like Qianfan. The December 2024 launch marked the third deployment of Qianfan satellites, lifting off from the Taiwan Satellite Launch Center. At 12.41 p.m. local time, the Long March 6 carried 18 satellites into a 700-kilometer polar orbit. This precision ensured their successful integration into the growing constellation. Each launch has contributed to a steadily expanding network, with 54 satellites now operational. One of the Long March 6A's standout features is its ability to transport up to 4,500 kilograms of payload to sun-synchronous orbit. This capability allows multiple satellites to be launched simultaneously, optimizing efficiency. Additionally, its hybrid propulsion system combines the power of liquid oxygen and kerosene engines in the core stage with solid fuel boosters for added thrust. This flexibility makes it an invaluable tool for large-scale satellite deployments. However, the rocket has not been without controversy. Earlier launches raised concerns over space debris, particularly after the August 2024 mission resulted in over 700 pieces of trackable debris from the rocket's upper stage. These fragments add to the growing problem of orbital congestion, posing risks to other satellites and space missions. Addressing these issues will be critical to ensuring sustainable growth in space operations. Despite these challenges, 
the Long March 6 remains a cornerstone of China's space ambitions. It has been instrumental in the country's impressive record of 62 orbital launches in 2024, signaling a robust and rapidly advancing space program. As China pushes toward its goal of 100 launches annually, rockets like the Long March 6 will play a vital role in achieving these milestones. The Thousand Sails constellation signals a significant shift in the global space industry, placing China among the leaders in satellite internet technology. The project's scale and ambition demonstrate China's growing capacity to compete with established players like SpaceX and Amazon. Its impact extends beyond technological achievements, influencing market dynamics, international relations, and space sustainability. The Constellation's immediate goal of deploying 648 satellites by 2025 positions it as a direct competitor to systems like Starlink. By offering high-speed, low-latency internet, Thousand Sales is poised to capture markets in regions where traditional infrastructure is either insufficient or non-existent. Its collaboration with Brazil exemplifies its strategic approach to entering new markets, particularly in developing countries. This agreement highlights the constellation's potential to become a major player in bridging the global digital divide. However, the constellation's rapid expansion raises questions about space traffic management and sustainability. With thousands of satellites planned, the risk of collisions and the generation of orbital debris increases significantly. This challenge is not unique to thousands sails, it is a shared concern among all mega constellation projects. International cooperation and regulations will be crucial in addressing these issues. China's ability to navigate these challenges will play a key role in determining the long-term viability of its space endeavors. The brightness of the Qianfan satellites has also drawn attention, as it impacts ground-based astronomical observations. Similar criticisms have been levied against other satellite networks, highlighting a growing tension between commercial satellite operators and the scientific community. Finding solutions that balance technological advancement with scientific preservation will be essential as satellite constellations become more prevalent. Beyond these challenges, Thousand Sails represents a broader shift in how space is utilized. The project exemplifies the commercialization of space, where private companies and state-backed enterprises drive innovation and expand access. It also underscores the geopolitical dimensions of space exploration, as nations leverage satellite networks to enhance their strategic and technological influence. In the long run, thousands sales could reshape the global telecommunications landscape, providing faster, more reliable internet to millions. Its success will depend on balancing innovation with responsibility, ensuring that the benefits of satellite technology are shared while minimizing its risks. The launch of the third batch of Qianfan satellites marks a significant advancement in China's quest to establish a global satellite internet network. This endeavor not only aims to bridge the digital divide but also positions China as a key player in the evolving landscape of space-based internet services. As the Thousand Sails constellation progresses, it will be essential to address challenges related to space debris astronomical observations, and international cooperation to ensure that the benefits of this technological leap are realized sustainably and equitably. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.